So today we've rented a car and we're going to tour the southern coast of Puerto Rico. Um, usually when we rent a car on an island, we go out and we have no destination. We just drive and drive and we like to eat the local foods. So today we're gonna drive along the southern coast and eat some local foods and it looks like it's gonna be gorgeous. Our first stop was a cute little beach on the southeastern side of Puerto Rico. There was not much going on there, so we took a few pictures, a video, and moved on. Then it was time for a mid-morning snack, and we stopped at this cute little roadside stand with a view. Yeah, this one is chicken, and that one is crab. All right, awesome. So what are you guys going to get? Okay. What are you going to get, Tyler? Homemade sauce. Oh, oh. Thank you. I'll try the oh. Rich had an octopus turnover and Tyler had a chicken turnover with a special sauce. How is it, Tyler? How's the octopus? Mm. Good? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah, it was good. Great view. Can't beat the view. mid-morning snack, we get in the car and we keep driving. There's no shortage of beautiful beaches along the southern coast of Puerto Rico. It was nice to get out of the car and take a walk on the beach after our mid-morning snack. And we're walking along and we see this gentleman, Frederico, who's just lounging in a hammock. And he wants his video taken too. So what's your name? Frederico. Frederico. Okay, nice to meet you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 Yep. Yeah. Okay. From, from Puerto Rico. Yeah. Happy Three Kings Day. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We don't speak Spanish. I'm sorry. We don't know. No speak Espanol. <laughs> the Puerto Rican people are so friendly. Rich sees a dirt road. He can't help but to take it. But the view on this one wasn't too bad. Our next stop was a roadside stand that was selling rotisserie chickens with your choice of size. They cut the chicken off the rotisserie with a great big knife 
and brought it over to this wood stand. And then just chopped it up into a million little pieces. It was so good. At the last stop, Rich tried the octopus, so it was time for me to try something new. I chose the side of green bananas and some type of meat. This is really, really good. Huh? Yeah, I know. What is that? What's the dark one? Oh, no. It's meat. Oh, it's some kind of meat. It's like pork. We have to doing? keep moving and awesome. see what else we can find. <laughs> We ended up making a wrong turn, but it wasn't so bad because we drove inland and along this beautiful lake. The views as you're driving along Puerto Rico's southern coast are absolutely stunning. You'll drive along and you see these little roadside stands with these awesome views. But unfortunately, you can only eat so much. We didn't try anything at this one, but it was packed with cars driving through constantly. And every once in a while, there's a fruit stand with a local selling their fresh grown produce. What? Papaya, watermelon, pineapple. Pineapple. Hey. How much? Pineapple. Pineapple. Sweet, good. How much? Dinero. How much dinero? Ah, five. Five, five dinero. Five. Okay. Okay. So get a pineapple. Yes. Yeah. Three dollars. Three dollars. Yep. Honey. Honey. Mango, honey. Papaya. Guaranay. Guaramelon. And ginger. Gibre. Ginger. Como okay. se llama? Ginger. Uh, did, what, what, how do you say? Yes. But what, what do you call it? No, how, ding, ding. Ding, no, you. How do you say in, in Espanol? Ginger in Espanol. Ah, en hibres. Hibres. Hibres en español. After purchasing a pineapple, some ginger, and an avocado, it was time to get back in the car and finish exploring. But we had to stop at one more beach before heading back to the marina. We always say that each island is unique in its own special way, and so is Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico does not even feel like part of the United States. The beaches are beautiful, the people are friendly, and the food is amazing. We are really enjoying our time here. We'll only be spending a couple more days in the marina, and then we set sail for the southern coast of Puerto Rico and get to visit some of these anchorages from the waterside. So stay tuned.